click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends we'll be discussing the journal entries that are supposed to be passed in the books of the consignee and we'll be understanding what exactly or rather the chronological order of it so as we already know the journal entries that we have to pass when it comes to the consigner details or rather the entries that are supposed to be passed when it comes to the consigner now you need to understand what are the journal entries that you need to pass when it comes to the consignee accounts so we'll be jotting down each and every transaction or rather each and every journal entry that is supposed to be passed in a chronological order itself let's start with that so the first entry refers to the transaction or rather the journal entry when sales happen so in the books of the consignee the entry will be either cash account debit or bank account debit or the debtor account debit itself to the consignor's personal account if you remember in consignor's account we used to mention consignee's personal account same way in consignee's journal transactions we will be mentioning consignor's personal account here so it will be either cash account debit bank account debit or the debtor's account debit to consignor's personal account now the next transaction refers to for expenses incurred or rather whenever any expenses incurred on the behalf of the consignor and the commission that is raised so for the same thing whenever an expense is incurred or the commission is raised then the entry that will be passed here is consignor's personal account will be debited and bank account will be credited here that's the entry that will be passing when the expense is incurred on behalf of the consignor now the next transaction entry that we have to mention here is when the advance is paid to the consignor again it's an expense for us or rather when we think about from consignee's point of view it's an expense so again the entry will be consignor's personal account debit to bank account now the next entry that you have to pass here is when it comes to recording bad debts because sales are happening so bad debts are bound to happen now again bad debts is an expense so bad debt account will be debited here and the customer's account will be credited here so that is the entry that you'll be passing so the next journal entry that you have to pass here is writing of bad debts now when it comes to writing of bad debts it will be two cases here or rather there will be two cases one where del credit commission is allowed second where the del credit commission is not allowed in case if you remember the types of commission that we studied earlier if the del credit commission is allowed then bad debts is no more the lookout of the consignor and it is the lookout of the consignee however if it is not allowed then it is the lookout of the consignor so considering these two situations you have to pass the journal entries accordingly now when we discuss about the two situations that is when the del credit commission is not allowed and when the del credit commission is allowed we have mentioned down the entries here let's read it out now consider the situation where the del credit commission is not allowed that means it is the consignor's liability here rather consignor's personal account will be debited and bad debts account will be credited here because it has to be written off that means bad debts that were created as an expense on the debit side to write it off it will have to be mentioned on the credit side again so bad debts will be credited however if the del credit commission is not allowed then consignor's personal account will be debited here on the other hand if del credit commission is allowed then in such a situation it is the commission account that will be debited because if the del credit commission is allowed or rather this kind of commission is allowed to the consignee it is the consignee's responsibility no further the responsibility of the consignor hence his commission account will be debited and when his commission account is debited the amount that is supposed to be written off will be credited to the bad debts account so if you understand these are the journal entries that you have to pass whenever it comes to journal entries transaction recording in terms of the consignee i hope this video was clarified enough to make you understand the transactions that are supposed to be recorded here when it comes to the consignee's books of accounts so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ekida and keep subscribing to ekida